unpredictable couples will be competing to win on the new Newlywed Game. And now, here's the star of the new Newlywed Game, Bob Eubank! Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Newlywed Game. Well, you probably heard there's going to be a big change on the Newlywed Game. Well, there is. I've decided to leave the show. You see, for the past 22 years, I've had the pleasure of bringing the humor of thousands of couples into your living room. And for that, I want to say thank you very much. I've had a wonderful time, but now it's time for me to go on and do other things. I'm going to produce some movies with my kids. I have a new game show that's going to begin in September of 1989, and it's just time to do something different. So the producers have found a young man who is going to bring his very own unique qualities and humor to the show. He's one of the funniest guys you'll ever meet and one of the nicest guys, and I want you to meet him right now. He's a good friend of mine, and he will soon become a very good friend of yours. He's the host of the newlywed game, the new host, Mr. Paul Rodriguez. Paul. All right, I'm done. Oh, yes, well, yeah, you look great. I yeah. took some pointers from you. Yeah, you look like like you're supposed to look. That's that's wonderful. Uh, Any, anything you want to leave me with? Uh... Well, yeah, th there's a couple of things you need to learn to say. For instance, let me hear you say, uh, okay, couples, here's our 25-point bonus question. Bueno, couples, aquí tenemos las cuestiones del 25 bonus. Well, we have some work, but he's going to do great. Now, I've got a, we've got a new set for you. I want you to meet the couples, and I want to show you a couple of things up there. So why don't we go up there and take a look at your new set? Come on, Paul, let's go. This is the band. Here's the band. So the band. I'll always, I'll always play you on. Now, I got other things I want to show you. Over here is your podium. See, you can lean against it. You can sit on it and do anything you want. Uh, there's a couple of things. I, I usually run four or five minutes over. So this is this will help me. If you happen to get in too deep, you know I've always used these. these oh, are if you meet a girl you don't know that well. Now that'll work too. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever need me, I just want you to pick up this phone and call my number. One, two, no, 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 no. <laughs> Now, we've also got snacks for you. If you get bored, we have we have ding dongs. Uh, we just have snacks. We have. Hey, what was this for? <laughs> uh, well, oh no, they wouldn't. Come. <laughs> the question we couldn't use. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now, over the last 22 years, I've gathered a lot of a lot of things. Uh, I was always hoping that the Tysons would come on the show. So, <laughs> sometimes the couples get a little angry, and I've had the, the need of wearing a hard hat. You see, so these are all of my, all of my. Uh, that's more me. Yeah, that's more you than me. Anyway, now there, there's more. Come over here. I want to show you. Now I, I, I want you to meet the couples because the couples are really what's important because you have to ask them questions. You know that part. Okay. Okay. So here's what I usually would do. I would say. Uh, uh, couple number one, he's a security agent. She sells stocks and bonds. They've been married three months. And they are Alexander and Parveen Porsche. All right. We got seven more. Couple number two, he's a media player. She's a medical door. They've been married four months. This is Matthew and Kelly Hughes. Matthew and Kelly, how are you? You meet Paul? Couple number three, uh, he's a patent lawyer. Watch those attorneys. Oh. Yes. And she sells cars. Watch the used car salesman, too. They've been married five months. J.D. and Beth Harriman. That's couple number three. All right? Now, those are your newlywed couples. This is your podium. That's your phone. Any questions? No. Well, I have some. These are your questions. Well, what you do now is you're going to have to get rid of the ladies and then ask the questions. And then when the ladies come back, be sure to ask the same three questions, otherwise no one can say anything right. Do you understand? Okay. okay. Good luck, my friend. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Paul Rodriguez, can you host the video again? All right. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to just say that anyone that's done anything for 22 years must have done it very, very, very good. the fellas, we're going to get to know them a lot better than I had planned. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, guys, I'm going to ask you some questions. And remember, you're, you're predicting what your wife will say. These questions are worth five points. And here we go. My first question ever. I'm excited. <laughs> guys, if the U.S. Weather Service broadcast a report, like, right from your bedroom last night, would they have reported a heat wave, stormy weather, or a cold snap? <laughs> uh, let's start off with, uh, start off with you. Cold snap. A cold snap. Okay, Matthew? Yeah, I'd say a cold snap also. It was uh, a little bit frigid in there last night. And Alex? I'd have to say a heat wave. Oh, he means what? Yay! He means Okay, guys, question number two. Which female member of your wife's family would make the best Elvis look-alike? <laughs> now, I, I really need you to be specific. First names only. And let's start off with you, J.D. Nelda. Nelda. She looks just like Elvis. She has the hips. She Matthew? has the boots. Yeah, I'm going to say Rose. Rose? Yeah, she moves a lot like Elvis. And Alex? I'll have to say Velma. Mom, Velma. Velma. Yeah. All right, thank you, guys. And hey, we're going to return with the wives right after these messages. Okay, we're back and our wives have rejoined their hubbies and guys have the answers right in front of them, okay? Remember, girls, these are the five-point questions. Ladies, if the U.S. Weather Service broadcast a report right from your bedroom last night, would they have reported a stormy weather, a cold snap, or a heat wave? Let's start off with you, pardon. Last night, it was a heat wave. Oh, a heat wave, heat wave! That's right, heat wave. Have you been having this kind of weather lately? Yeah. I'll tell you, sometimes I'm so good, I can't stand myself. from Mr. Modest here. <laughs> Kelly, what kind of uh, storm or weather have you been having? Last night it definitely had to be stormy weather. We had the worst fight we have ever had in our entire life. Over what? He said I didn't have a sense of humor. No, it was her cooking. I said she I said she wasn't spending enough time in the kitchen, but it was only a joke and she took it wrong. No, no. I didn't take yeah, it off. And, and I ended up walking, walking like five miles home. She booted me out of the car. Oh. <laughs> well, Matthew said. Well, obviously it was rather cold outside. Oh, uh, cold. Oh. <laughs> okay. Beth, what kind of weather was at your house? Definitely a cold snap. Cold snap for any particular reason? Hold on, please, JD. <laughs> We want to get all the trash out. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get all the trash out. Yeah. Well, no, he's been working a lot. I don't work a lot. So I come home, I'm ready to do stuff. He comes in, like, hey, what's for dinner? What are we doing? Let's go to bed. Isn't that sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that sexy? Yeah. 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 told us that you were having a cold snap. Yeah. Move in with the Porsches over here. Let's we'll change the climate. Okay, ladies, the next five point question is which female member of your family would make the best Elvis look alike? Beth? Of, of both of our of families or just family? my family? Yes. Well, that would have to be my mother because she's. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Oh. She's the only. She's got black hair. She 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 fluctuates in her weight, and she she's kind of. Oh no, no. She's not, no she's not like a shake Come on and get your breakfast. <laughs> JD told us. Melda. That's my mom. That's the thing. to say my mother she's heavy like Elvis was and uh, so I will need a new mother after this but my mom <laughs> see I love you mom I love you okay. I'm sorry yeah I love you mom see I'm cooking out for you she's out to get you remember I was saying I love you mom <sighs> yeah, yeah. Okay.
Okay, Kelly? I'm going to have to say my mother because I don't have any sisters and he doesn't know any of my relatives. I mean, female relatives, so it's got to be my mom, Rose. Matthew's hat? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is Rose. And you have five points. We'll be back with just the girls to see how well they predict what their husbands are going to say right after these very nice messages. Part of the show with the girls. All right, girls, now your husbands are gone, and it's your turn to guess what they will say. Each of these questions will not be worth 10 points. Not counting yourself, how many other women has your husband turned to and said, Honest, I love you? Okay, let's start off with you, Kelly. I'm going to have to say three. Um, his mom, his sister, and then both of his sisters. Safe answer, Kelly. <laughs> I don't know any of his other girlfriends. I was the first, and I'm the last. You naive! And if he gets this wrong, zero. I missed. Well, let's hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's easy. It was one. Her name was Linda Meet Nemo. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. I think you know you'll give us her social security number. Oh, can I say what her nickname was? Uh, just the number. One is fine. One. She was the head major rat. Oh, good. <laughs> Okay, for your next 10-point question, complete the sentence. Hey, you don't really know what Looney Tunes means until you've seen my husband do what, Marvin? Um, dance. He dances. He used to dance on a show, and he dances wild and crazy, so. Good. Uh, Beth? Wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's hysterical. He gets the talk when he gets everything all laid out. Turns on the music, gets the, the, the phone next to him, does everything, gets everything all set, he's all happy to do the dishes, then I start the washer, then I get on the phone room and everything for him. <laughs> Poor guy! Tell me. I'm going to have to say, my husband loves to tape record himself, or video himself, <laughs> and he does this while he is in the shower. <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait! Wait, 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 tell me, tell me, this isn't a cable show. He doesn't show his body, he just... Take that thought till he comes back, okay? Ladies, this is your 25-point bonus question. So listen carefully, please. Ladies, most of the time when your husband kisses you on the lips, is it a tiny peck, a short smack, or a sloppy smooch? Yeah? A short smack. A short smack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kelly? Short smack. Short smack? A sloppy smooch. Oh, with the husbands to compare answers here on the Newlywed Game right after these messages. Okay. Okay, now, victims, I mean husbands, let's see how well your wives have guessed what you will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. Guys, not counting your wife, how many other women have you turned to and said, I love you. We'll start off with Matthew. I'm going to say three. Two. Oh, well, gee, that's odd because Kelly said three. <laughs> okay, and how many have you told you love, JD? Tell it and meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get something. Or just to get something. Look, you think about that. I'm going to go to the fridge. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so we need a number. How many? Okay, well, there's my little button. She was a cutie. And I would say uh, Beth would think uh, three also. <laughs> what? Beth thought, uh, yeah. Three? What? What? Who are the other two? Yeah. She thinks I'm a loser. She's always thought. No, just because I met you, I called you a nerd. And now you're proving it. Only one button. Button, button, button. Miss Major X. <laughs> okay, and uh, Alex. Now, see, I know you think I'm, you know, the playboy. I'm gonna have five, six million. No. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, the, the only woman I ever told I love is my wife. She's the only one that can ever make my toes sing. That's it. That's the number. 
number then? None. Zero. I'll take a nose, me. <laughs> Ladies, I mean, gentlemen, here's the next 10-point question. How did your wife complete this sentence? Hey, you don't really know what Looney Tunes is until you've seen my husband do what? What haven't we seen you do, J.D.? Uh, maybe the dishes. <laughs> because I get all set up with my music, I have the... I have the cordless phone there to talk to my buddy Gary, and I'm just ready to do the dishes and then rock oh, and roll. Stand up and give us the dish dance. <laughs> well, you'll be happy to know that that's all in the dishes. I have to say, um, my stage. Me actually getting on stage, it has to be the most, uh, the ridiculous thing, you know, that I've uh, done. Yeah, okay, I got a mouthful. Cool. That's two things now because Parvin said. Dance. Dance. Oh, no. It's okay. Yes, we're giving it to you. Yeah, first solitary days paid off. <laughs> okay, well, I I think she's gonna say that I I kind of prance around the apartment in doing this dance with like the pelvic type thrust. You know, uh, where would you do this? I I parade around the entire apartment. Um, mostly it's done in the living room. In the living room. Well, we also know because Kelly told us. Uh, there's a video company you have in the bathroom with uh, yourself. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. <laughs> I, I put the video on the tripod and I was shaving and you know I had a little funk going on and I was, I gave him a show. Uh, what, come on, what kind of dance do you do? Now uh, JD danced for us, so it's only fair to ask you that you give us give us that little prance. <laughs> come on, all three. As a matter of fact, all three of you are dancers. here on the gong show to see to see which of our couples is going to win our grand prize but first we're going to hear these words from our very own charlie o'donnell tell them what we got well, some members of our studio audience will receive the westinghouse 1.3 cubic foot capacity microwave oven which offers an automatic temperature probe for worry-free cooking electronic touch controls and 10 power select settings furnished by white westinghouse and now here's paul all right, guys, here's your 25-point bonus question. Most of the time when you kiss your wife on the lips, is it a short smack, a sloppy smooch, or a tiny peck? Matthew and Kelly, you have 15 points. 25 points will give you 40 points. It's definitely a short smack. A short smack. Kelly said... A short smack! Yeah. JD and Beth, you have 20 points. 25 points will give you 45 points. What's it gonna be? A short but very sweet smack. <laughs> Ted said yes, a short but very sweet smack. 45 points. Now, the, the overheated family here, 25 points you already have. 25 more points will give you 50 points. What's it gonna be? I'd have to say a little pick. Oh, no. If it lasts any longer than that, wait a minute. The last, no, wait, the last three years, yeah, okay. If it lasts any longer than that, I'm sorry, you know, you're gonna have to break your hot plate. Let's go get it busy. Marvin said a sloppy smooch, which means that JD and Matt, you're a grand prize winner for today. Tell you that, tell us they won. Beth and JD, it's a fabulous new living room for your home. Starting with Roy Hill's lovely sofa and love seat with shaped arms, attached back, and deep seat cushions covered in a stunning Jacquard stripe with three Queen Anne cherry tables furnished by Roy Hill. 
plus color times VCR with full function remote control, easily programmable to record up to a week in advance, furnished by Color Time Rent to Own Systems, and Color Time's remote control console color TV with convenient VCR storage behind glass doors, furnished by Color Time Rent to Own Systems. Retail value of this fabulous new living room is $3,636. It's all yours from the Newlywed Game. Thank you for tuning in, and thank you, Coco. Our owners up today will receive Tarkett Lifetime 12-foot wide, no wax inlaid vinyl flooring, seamless installation in most rooms, and a limited lifetime warranty. Or, little people come to life on video cassettes. Delightful stories, entertaining lessons for ages 2 to 6, from New World Video. Or, Miss Lee. Smaller size Lee press on nails in teen and free teen fun colors. Miss Lee press on nails. Or when Mother Nature calls your kitty, you want America's number one premium cat litter. Johnny Cat and a little privacy is all any cat needs. Or fix a flat seals and inflates flat tires in seconds without jacks or tire changing. Fix a flat. It's quick and easy to use. Or choose an Arbitron watch for work, dress, and play. Beautiful diamond watches, water-resistant, all sport and fun fashion watches. Armatron. Ooh. 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 Ooh.